Hi everyone. Um, I've had so many questions in the last few days and weeks about how we support our family's immune system and um, build up their immunity and how others can do the same. Um, so I'm just going to tell you what our experiences are and I thought the easiest way to share this was in a little video. Um, the first thing that I think is so important to reiterate, um, especially to our children, is that our bodies are incredible and that they are really self-healing and self-repairing when we're in a good state of health. Um, when our children fall and hurt themselves, I, I always try to point out to them how they must watch how incredibly their body will heal in the next few days and that they can see what a difference their bodies what, what a difference it is and that's just all their body's natural wisdom and their body's natural healing and it's the same when they come into contact with viruses and bacteria and germs that their body is equipped to deal with them and um, it's not something to fear um, but our, our focus is keeping our body in good health so that these viruses and bacteria can't thrive um, in their bodies and it's a lovely analogy is a forest analogy so if a forest is in a, is a healthy forest which has had a good amount of rain there's good mulch on the forest floor if a match is dropped on that forest floor it's not going to um, cause a massive forest fire it might just smolder and, and burn out eventually if, it, if there's enough um, humidity around whereas if it's dropped on a in a dry crisp forest with dry leaves and lots of dead wood um, and not a healthy environment then that same match might cause a huge forest fire so we want to create the sort of environments in our bodies which don't allow for illness to really thrive so something that's incredibly key to that is getting a good amount of sleep getting good rest um, it's been astounding to see some of the photos um, the nasa photos over china and seeing how the pollution has really cleared with people being forced to, into isolation and forced into rest and not allowed to travel um, as much as as they have been um, so it's a small upside to this crisis that we find ourselves in but uh, everything does better with a bit more rest and a bit more sleep so rest is important staying hydrated is important um, and that means waters as I often tell our children it doesn't mean vitamin waters and fizzy drinks coffee and teas we can still have some of those but to really have them in limited amounts um, we don't want to be putting too much sugar into our bodies and making an acidic environment for our bodies so lots of fruit and vegetables um, and lots of water and fluid and taking supplements um, doTERRA have a wonderful supplement range which I've used when I can get it from the US but it's unfortunately not here yet at the moment we're using just a good quality vitamin C and taking high dose vitamin C and omegas um, and then I've uh, I always also love olive leaf extract and echinacea are very good for boosting the immune system um, and I use those a lot more when I didn't have the oils um, I still use them from time to time but I, I'll talk more about what I use with the oils now um, another nice thing to do at the end of the day especially if you're starting to feel something coming on is an Epsom salts bath um, you have to soak for a good 20 minutes to allow for the um, detox that the magnesium the magnesium sulfate of the Epsom salts gives us so you can add oils such as lavender or melaleuca frankincense um, things to help boost the immune system so that those are are, are useful um, what do we do on a daily basis so I start our my day with a drop of lemon in warm water um, lemons very good for drawing toxins out of the body and for alkalizing the body which again um, doesn't allow the um, whatever is visiting, visiting my body to thrive so um, a drop of lemon in water and then I also put a drop of lemon in my water bottle that I take around with me then um, I've made these on guard rollers and on guard spray for all our, our whole family um, including our staff we um, I start the children's day by waking them. I put the, use the roller under their feet, on their hands, and they just take a few deep breaths. Um, it's a lovely little ritual, they love it. Um, but it's, it's something that sets them up. The, the oils are absorbed through their feet into their bodies and the ha on the hands acts as a protective mechanism um, when they're touching anything in the day. Uh, so we, we start the day with that. Um, they also, we've got on guard sprays 
so in, both in the On Guard roller and the On Guard spray, I've got about 15 drops of On Guard. And the roller is just fractionated coconut oil. In the spray, I've used half water, um, and you can use distilled water, it's probably better. I just use plain water, that's all I had. Um, and I use plain filtered water, and then half witch hazel. Um, witch hazel just makes it a little bit lighter and um, allows it to last a bit longer. Or you can use half witch hazel and half aloe vera. Um, those are available at health stores, but I found that my sprays, even just with water, have really lasted a long time. And I've put it sometimes a little bit of I put a little bit of coconut oil, just a splash to add to it. So, um, when this on guard spray I keep in my car, when everyone's getting out of the car on the way to school, we just do a quick spray onto hands and rub hands. When I've been at the shops, or well, I'll take it in my handbag if I'm pushing trolleys, I'll spray it. Um, if I in and out the car when kids get back into the car spray so I just use this to spray quite often one can also use it as a throat spray and a mouth spray if you're starting to feel um, any sore throat or if you've come into contact with someone who's a bit sick um, any sort of any sort of sickness one can make a different version of this which I've had for a long time um, which I've got 15 drops of on guard uh, five drops of lemon and two or three drops of melaleuca the melaleuca is very strong um, so I used this as a throat spray when we were traveling. Um, I also used it to spray around my, on my seat, um, the arms of my seat and on the tray table. Everyone thought I was quite mad. It was now, now not so much. Um, but so any combination of the On Guard Meluca and Lemon um, would be great on hands as a throat spray. Um, just be careful not too much Meluca because that is very bitter. Um, but it's a very good antiviral. So we use those regularly. Um, the other products we use, the On Guard um, toothpaste and the hand soap have just been launched recently and it's good timing. So this has again got all the protective benefits. It's got lovely essential oils for helping to um, combat any bad bacteria and any plaque that might sit in our mouth. The um, On Guard, there's a new foaming wash, which is a lovely light foaming wash. So it comes in a bottle like this and you can split this into two of these um, dispensers which you also get with the foaming wash um, and we've got these now around the house it's very light but it's is very um, cleansing and um, it's a very nice soap it doesn't dry out your your hands as much so we, we're using a lot of that if you are in an environment where there are a lot of people around in a work office environment or in a a school in a classroom environment. I'm hosting my feminine wisdom course on Thursday, so I'll have a few. Um, I've got a group of ladies coming, so a good idea is to use a diffuser. This is a diffuser. Um, you fill up with water to the water mark, and in this diffuser, I'd use about four or five drops of On Guard for adults. Probably less with children. Probably three with children. Um, or you, one could use On Guard and breathe to help to open up the air passages. One can also use this at night and one often thinks of a diffuser just as a soft smell as a nice smell but remember how highly perfused our lungs are and what the incredible network of capillaries um, there are around our alveoli and around our lungs and that when we have an anesthetic and we have a gas mask administered to our mouth to our nose and mouth how quickly um, that perfuses into our bodies so know that the diffuser really is very effective so that's a very useful tool. If we are starting to feel sick, um, scratchy throat or a little bit bunged up, what I do is I'll take a drop of On Guard under my tongue. It's quite strong, so I'll follow it with a little bit of water. For children, you could just put one drop in a glass of water and just get them to sip on it. Um, but it is very strong. I wouldn't put a drop into their mouth directly. Um, I don't think they would like you very much if you did. Um, what we do for our family when any of us are starting to feel sick is I use this um, flume roller. Flume stands for frankincense, lemon, on guard, oregano and melaleuca. So the frankincense and oregano are both very strong so I just use five drops of those. Five drops of frankincense, five drops of oregano and then ten drops of the lemon, the on guard and the melaleuca and I fill the rest with fractionated coconut oil. The oregano is very strong smelling so one doesn't want to wear it all the time but if you are starting to get a sore throat I put around our throat, uh, back of the neck, up and down the spine, under feet. Um, it's very useful to take um, when traveling or to have with us um, if yeah when someone's 
at the first sign of illness and to use it regularly, um, even every hour or couple of hours. Um, in the evening, at night, a lovely routine is to actually layer the oils. So get whoever's struggling, your spouse, your um, children, or get someone to do this for you. Um, drop a drop of frankincense on the spine and rub it up the spine. Um, then you put a little bit of coconut oil, rub that up the spine and a little bit on the feet if, if you still have some residue on your hands. And then you follow it by just doing a drop of each, a drop of the lemon, dropping it on the base of the spine, rubbing it up the spine on the feet, the on guard, the oregano and the meluca and that's called layering and it's a very potent way of getting the oils into the system. So I can highly recommend that for if someone's starting to feel sick and then this is just the sort of convenient way of, of using it um, when one's out and about. So that's just some of the basics of what we do. Um, there are a lot more ideas and um, recipes. Dom is hosting an online class on Thursday the 12th of March. That's this Thursday evening at 8 p.m. which you can show up in your pajamas for and she'll be talking about this and and have some more tips and ideas. Um, and you're welcome to contact someone in your team if you'd like to know more um, and I'm also always happy to answer any questions. Um, and it's just also important to keep perspective in our current crisis that especially with children. I know there is a lot of fear around schools and children being in, um, in an environment like that. And even in China where um, there, there have only been 400 children hospitalized and I don't think very few, and well, no deaths um, of children reported under nine and, and very few children under 15 who've even been hospitalized globally at all. Um, at one stage there were none, I'm not sure if that's the what's the updated um, statistics. So children aren't seeming to succumb to this um, and it's a really good time for us to reinforce how, how our immune system is so incredibly powerful and our bodies are so incredibly strong that we can come into contact thing, with things and our immune, our natural immune system will help to protect us and we just use things like this to help support our bodies um, in the ways that we can. I hope this has been helpful.